Allow me to take you on a tour. Here you see my iPad. It's resting where it was, but it was pooled with raw sewage not long ago. And as a result, I transferred my iPad to my bed. I used to keep it underneath my pillows. And um, now my bed is completely covered in plastic. I've um, covered the plastic with a sheet, but um, the bed is one of the things that's going to have to go. A lovely Aerogel mattress, um, quite, a, quite a good one. Supposed to last for 20 years, but only lasted for one and a bit. There is a sleep apnea machine. You can see that it's very close to where the raw sewage pulled, and I'm going to have to get a replacement but um, I don't even know if insurance is going to cover that. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to do if it doesn't. And a standing wardrobe, and I thank God that it's a flexible moving standing wardrobe because um, without it, I'd be in deep trouble. That's the normal wardrobe I have in my bedroom. I've taken that uh, second screen door off because it's uh, broken. I'm hoping, hoping it will be fixed by the uh, rebuilders. And we'll move out into the corridor. This used to be my storeroom. It was full and now it is completely empty. Um, that PowerPoint has never worked. I'm hoping that it will be able to work soon after things are repaired. I'm not expecting my home contents insurance to fix that. And here we have the bathroom now functioning. Um, that hole in the ground is where um, the raw sewage came out but also from the shower and in the bathtub. And I don't know if you can see it here on the ground itself, but there are still sludge that I simply cannot remove. I tried very hard to do so, but um, um, scrubbing and detergent just doesn't seem to lift it. Coming down, broom cupboard still has its carpeting in that's going to be removed and it will be painted over and the kitchen the broken tiles is where raw sewage went into and at first uh, strata insurers refused to um, decontaminate them because they didn't want to replace them because it was pre-existing damage but I believe now they are going to go ahead behind the oven is the hot water heater for the unit and raw sewage has collected there and I don't know how they're going to get it out without um, um, ripping out those um, built-ins and um, it wouldn't be cost much to replace those but we'll see if insurance can be bothered um, and inside my cupboard here my medication. I have to have this with me. It's one of the reasons why I didn't leave that in the sleep apnea machine and my internet is still working. Yes, that's the curse that you have to deal with. My internet still works. The television room. TV and my computer setup. box full of videos and a box full of books and here some more cupboard space all this was full of DVDs and CDs I've had to throw those out I have here old speakers subwoofer and um, 
old video players and the like, which uh, hopefully will give joy to somebody if I can only give it away. Um, at the moment, nobody wants it. I tried giving it to a library, but uh, they'll only accept new things. Here is the old second bedroom, and here in this old second bedroom are some of the books in my library, and more books in my library. I've taken things off the shelves. Uh, in these boxes that you see here are the Encyclopedia Britannica. I've got a home for that, but I don't have a home for these other boxes of books. Um, the library doesn't want them. Um, and and more storage stuff that's contaminated that is up there but i put it up there because it's the papers that i want to keep uh, even though it's contaminated and this is also stuff that um, i've got no idea what i'm going to do with um, but i can't take it with me when i move Allow me to show you some of the books that I have. Cooperative Learning. This is a book that uh, is to do with education. School Mathematics, The Challenge to Change. I studied with some of the lecturers, writers. The School Manager written by some of my father's oldest friends. Readings in Psychological Foundations of Education uh, by Walter McGinnity and my dad, Samuel Ball. And Educational Psychology that was uh, written by my dad. And Teaching Learning Mathematics in the 1990s, that's a yearbook. Um, School-Centered Leadership by Crump. He's an up-and-comer, I seem to remember, 20 years ago. And The Werewolves of Wynyard. I've got three copies here, early numbers. I've, the only ones that I've kept out of 200. And... Trigonometry for Beginners by Todd Hunter. And an amazing book published in 1809 on education by Emma Hamilton. But it's not um, a real educational book. It's just a light reading of the kind that uh, Jane Austen would have made, but not as good. And Schoolwork by F.J. Gladman, My Pride and Joy, written in um, 1875, thereabouts. Control and Teaching, Organizations and Principles of Education. This book shows you everything that you need to know about teaching in the 1800s, and including object lessons. And if I flip through to the back, it's got a timetable back here which shows how to organize classes in schools of up to 600 students. God, we need something like that today.